believe that Diane was able to ruin our lives. She did indeed. Soon, everybody else is going to know she's fine. You broke my trust. We got her, girls. Send that bitch packing for good. Young and the Restless Spoilers Sally plays it safe with Nick after the Adam adventure. Following her sensual bedroom encounter with Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope is said to opt to play it safe, according to the Young and the Restless spoilers and updates. When she finally decides to turn back to Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, she'll see that he's a lot safer choice than Adam. A Torn Heart, The Young and the Restless Spoilers Sally has been going through the difficult sensation of falling almost immediately for Nick, while yet not quite over the other sibling. She has suffered a torn heart in the sense of a split heart, but she has also had her heart crushed by Adam, despite the fact that he has subsequently shown sorrow. Adam believed that breaking up with Sally was the proper course of action in order to maintain his highly sought-after position at Newman Media and put an end to rumors of sexual favoritism. Adam was concerned that Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinel, their sister, would dismiss Sally if she reclaimed Newman Enterprises, Father Ashlyn Locke, Robert Newman, who finally passed away. Nick was concerned Victoria would dismiss Sally as well, which she did, but both of them tried to stop it by offering her a visit to Jabot. Spoilers for Vi and R. Return to passion and decision to let go. When Adam proposed to Sally, he was inebriated. He subsequently sought her out to apologize for his inebriation, but not for his continuing love for her. Sally tried her hardest to get him out of her system, but she acknowledged that it wasn't working. She agrees to visit Adam when he comes seeking for her again so they can talk things over, but things between them quickly become extremely heated. After the act is through, they wind up collapsing into bed, having let some passion out of their system, but at least they get real. Adam claims that their relationship doesn't have to end, but Sally insists that it must, and they do work things out so they can go on. Spoilers for the young and the restless, Sally Spectra makes a decision. Sally admits she and Adam made a tremendous mistake especially when Nick enters shortly after Adam exits, and it is clear what transpired between them. She is ashamed of her weakness and disgusted with herself. Nick is a bit irritated but primarily sympathetic. Perhaps she needed that to get Adam out of her system. She will affirm to Nick that her slip-up with Adam in the bedroom made her understand how much she really wants to be with him, and that he is the better choice. Nick may feel a bit wounded, but he will make an effort not to show it since he doesn't want to make Sally feel bad and make things worse for her. He truly has a strong crush on her and is open to the idea. Jack and Diane deserve a chance, and here's why, according to spoilers from The Young and The Restless. According to The Young and The Restless spoilers, Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, is keeping a safe distance from Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters, who has relocated to Genoa City. Because they had a lengthy history together, he didn't want anything to surface that may endanger her friendship with Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller. However, Jack and Diane continue to have private moments in which a kiss seems to be ready to happen but is postponed. Something appeared to be about to happen between them, and when it did, everything changed. Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, I think will obstruct their communication and keep them from getting to know one another. Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins make a good couple on the young and the restless. For a time, let's set aside their past and keep in mind that they are a family. Even after she had been gone for so long, according to teasers for the young and the restless, their son Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, has been rekindling a meaningful relationship with his mother. Now that she has returned and is making changes in her life, she and Jack are undoubtedly developing their own relationship, and I believe that they have a strong chance of finding happiness together. I am aware that many of you shouldn't be together, but I believe they should. Make it happen and let them be happy. Why and our spoilers.
we can all agree that it is time for Jack to experience the same love and care because it took characters like Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, and Victor Newman, Eric Braden, decades to find happiness. I'm aware that many fans would claim that they want to see him with Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, but really? Diane has at least made an effort to change for her kid and Jack, albeit she is still just as poisonous as anybody else. Why doesn't she have an equal opportunity to experience happiness? Over the past few weeks, Jack and Diane have become considerably closer, and I believe it is now appropriate for them to publicly express their love for one another. They deserve to be as content as anybody in Genoa City, and I wholeheartedly believe in her redemptive story. Don't argue with me about this. How do you feel? Do you like Jack and Diane and agree that they ought to be allowed to date? Let us know what you think, and keep watching the CBS soap opera to find out what happens next.
Thanks for watching my video.